The United Way of Greater Waterbury is proud to present Sandra Vigliotti Senich with the Frederick and Lucy Kellogg Award. Sandra exemplifies the expression Live United in both her professional and personal life. She is committed to helping out local nonprofit organizations and is dedicated to the betterment of the Greater Waterbury area. In addition to her work as Senior Vice President at U.S. Trust Bank of America Private Wealth Management in New Haven, Sandra also serves on the board of the Palace Theater as past president, the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame, the Yukon Club, and the Mattituck Museum. She has also served on the board of the YMCA and Waterbury Symphony Orchestra and was an active member of the JCs. Sandra was previously recognized with the United Way Volunteer of the Year Award in 1997, served as United Way Campaign Chair in 2002, and led the organization as board chair for three terms beginning in 2012 where she helped guide the United Way through an immersive strategic planning process. Most recently, Sandra served as chair of the United Way 75th Anniversary Planning Committee, which resulted in a year-long celebration involving hundreds of volunteers that touched all aspects of the organization. United Way of Greater Waterbury is proud to present Sandra Vigliotti Senich with the Frederick and Lucy Kellogg Award. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, everyone is telling me that I need to make it quick. I know. I don't want to be the last thing to hold you from your <laughs> the rest of your evening at home, but I, I do have a few things that I want to say. Um, a heartfelt congratulations first to Liz, to Mark, and Neil Pearl uh, for receiving awards tonight. Your commitment to advancing the mission of United Way and your dedication to our community is truly commendable. And I'd like to congratulate, of course, Jim Smith for being named in honor of the uh, Spirit of Excellence Award tonight. I really couldn't think of a person who's more well-deserved for that honor. I'd also like to congratulate Chuck Bollier, our campaign chair, and his whole campaign cabinet for such a wonderful campaign this year. Congratulations, Chuck. I'd really like to begin by saying how incredibly honored I am to receive this award, named in recognition for Lucy and Fred Kellogg. I'm humbled to be in the company of the previous recipients of this prestigious award who continue to serve our community and inspire others to lead. The Kelloggs are a family who exemplify the highest standard of commitment to our community and who for generations have given so much of their time, talent, and financial resources for the betterment of our community. Their son, Chuck, Chuck Kellogg, has been a mentor and a friend and we are lucky to count him as a number one supporter of this United Way. In addition, their nephew, Andrew Skip, and their granddaughter, Molly Kellogg, who's here with us tonight, all continuing to live up to the high standard that Lucy and Fred set so many years ago. You see, that is exactly what makes this community so special. Generations of families committed to making Greater Waterbury a better place to work, to live, to raise your family, and to give back to your community. As Waterburyans, this is our culture. This is the fabric of our community. This is what binds us all together. Looking back, I believe that that was the first and foremost the thing that attracted me to United Way. This notion of building a legacy of giving to United Way. It is a tradition that we saw much evidence of as we studied the 75 year history of this organization. Generations of families giving, volunteering, and leading United Way. I began my work with United Way back in the late 80s, as much as I hate to admit that, but <laughs> shortly after I began my career at Bank of America then known as Bank Boston. By the way, the two constants in my professional life, Bank of America and United Way, 
a pretty terrific combination in my opinion. At that time, United Way had its offices in Bank Boston's Waterbury headquarters. So it was very easy to forge a strong relationship with United Way and the wonderful work that they were doing in our community. It was simply helping someone else who was not as fortunate as you were. Little did we know that shortly after Kristen Jacoby, then Volkovich, joined as our leader, we would grow to be stronger than ever, expanding our reach, spreading our mission, measuring outcomes, and begin, being stalwart stewards of every dollar collected through the United Way campaigns. In 2007, after the needs assessment review, the board undertook a transformational planning process that changed the way United Way allocated dollars to our partner agencies. This process aligned resources, measured outcomes, and allocated dollars to the most pressing issues in our community. The strategic approach changed the way we did business with a focus on vital building blocks for a good life, all focused in one of three areas, education, financial stability, and basic needs. We really didn't know it at the time, but changing this process put United Way on a solid path of providing integrated solutions for citizens in our community while engaging local businesses, government, and nonprofit leaders to simultaneously work together on shared community goals. This thoughtful approach to addressing the needs of our community is vital, and I'd like to thank Kristen and her staff for the work they do every day for the good of this organization to advance this cause. Thank you. This was all possible because of all of the hunt, I'm sorry. As you have heard, last year, I had the honor to lead the 75th anniversary committee, which was such a special undertaking. What seemed to be an overwhelming task in its early stages became a seamless, year-long celebration, honoring our history, celebrating our campaign, and shaping our vision for the future. It was all possible because of the hundreds of volunteers who committed their time and energy to the success of this year-long celebration. I'd like to thank a few individuals who led our efforts and were invaluable in making a cel this celebration a huge success. First, there was Chris Brooks and Charlie Monaghan who chronicled our history. Then there was Frank Montero and Mike Gorlowski who ran a record-breaking campaign. Then there was Kathy and Jim Smith, who co-chaired our anniversary dinner celebration. Nancy Becker, who led our partner agency celebration. Sandy Montero and Lynn Franklin Henry, who led our largest day of action ever. Scott Largate for heading up our marketing efforts for the 75th anniversary. And Julie Busalashi, Marisha Walker, and Bill Chavesky, who who led our, a group of emerging leaders, and you heard about them earlier, to bring back the United Way bed race. And I have to tell you, that was one of my first memories coming back to town after college, seeing the United Way bed race go down in front of our building. What a great success that day was. All of these folks together with the entire 75th anniversary committee and the United Way staff really deserve a huge round of applause. On a personal note, I'd like to thank my husband, Jack, for his love and support. It is wonderful to share the love of our family, friends, and our community together. I am blessed to have Jack and my stepdaughter, Lily, in my life. A very special thank you to my mom, who's here tonight, who, together with my dad, sacrificed so much to ensure that my brother and I had everything they didn't have. Thank you to my brother and my extended family for being here tonight and for all the love, support, and guidance that you provide. Thank you to the best group of friends anyone could ever ask for. I so appreciate you all being here tonight. Um, my friends are like an extension of our family and uh, we are incredibly, incredibly lucky to have such a wonderful group of friends. And to my colleagues at Bank of America and U.S. Trust, my work family, 
probably spend more time with them than anybody else. Thank you for being here tonight to celebrate this wonderful award. I couldn't ask for a better team to spend my work day with. It goes without saying that my work with United Way over the years has been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. The friendships and mentors that I've met along the way, too many to mention here, are so terrifically important to me and I am forever grateful for this entire experience. Thank you all again for this humbling honor.